Hello, welcome, welcome back if you're a current subscriber, welcome if you're new. All right, so today I have a few different hauls that we're gonna get into. I am gonna do them separately. The first one we're gonna start with is Super Tarts. So this is a pre-order, I'll put the dates on here. Uh, this was the Jaws sampler with the perfume. I ordered this on April 12th. I'll put the day I got it. I think it was ended up being two months, um, which was fine. I know that uh, Brandy had moved from um, warehouse to her home and then adding perfumes, which I am super excited about. So the sample she sent was Bluebird, which smells like a blueberry, I think, which is very good. She just had finally did the strawberry pound cake sampler. So she had done a sampler like the straw sampler that I'm going to show you months and months ago. So I think people had been asking and asking like, when are you going to pour more so we can actually buy the scents that we liked? So she finally did that and closed that I think this week sometime. I didn't participate because there that was pretty much all it was and she's only offering them in bams which is like 17 dollars. i don't agree with that i really am deciding not to purchase from vendors who are just offering one size there's several vendors that are doing that i don't agree with that so i'm not going to purchase if that's the case so i'm going to be very particular about when i order um and luckily i have enough of this order or the sense that i love right now that i'm good with that and like i said i just don't agree with that so i'm just not going to participate which is totally fine it's her business she can run it how she wants but i'm just not the biggest fan of things anyway so i did order the jaws perfume because cologne whatever you want to call it because it's basically anyone can order it i absolutely love love jaws i've already worn this it's sea salt Sea salt, fresh air, sea grass, plum. I can't read this. Like, literally, I can't even read the writing on what the set notes are, which is so, I wish she wouldn't, I mean, she didn't even have to put them, but this is just beautiful. I'm actually going to put this on today because I didn't put any on yet today. I have worn this, and I wanted to give this a test before I did this video. I wore this. Oh, that was strong. I wore this for 24 hours and literally was outside in the garden and I was like, I don't know if I can smell it. And then all of a sudden I was like, yes, I can. So I really like this. <laughs> Ooh, that was strong. So if you see a perfume or clone in your scent that you love, I would highly recommend trying it. I love, love this. I am super excited to have this. I believe it was $27.50. $27.50. $27.50. The sampler was $22.50. I think this is very much worth it. I like the bottle. I love the label. I hate the movie Jaws, but <laughs> I absolutely love this. This is um, I, when we did, Alexis and I did that tag video. Oh, I got per I got it on my sampler bag. When we did our top 10 cents, we both picked Jaws, and it's just such a great sense. Uh, love, right? I think we both picked Jaws. I absolutely love, 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 love that scent. So when she offered the Jaws sampler, this, I hadn't ordered like in months and months and months from Super Tars. And like I said, I haven't ordered in months because this was from April and I haven't ordered since. I don't even know if she's done any, but like I said, she's only offering, ugh, she's only offering like eight cents at a time. They're only available in BAMs. That's $17. And I'm like, some of these scents I still haven't tried. So I'm not willing to spend $17 on scents that I don't think I'll love, especially when I have the collection that I do. I also have to be mindful about what I'm spending my money on, which is what I'm going to do. Uh, and you'll see in my next haul, which vendor I will purchase from because they do listen and offer scents and take requests. Um, <laughs> lavender and speckles. Okay. So I got the Jaws sampler. I've already smelled through these because I got this like a week ago, I'll put, like I said, at the beginning of the video, I would have already put up the dates. So I, well, let's just go through them. Jaws and Cherry Lemonade. So again, everything's going to have her Jaws scent. So I think, so I was watching Nicole Perry's video about the strawberry pound cake sampler, which I think is true. Like she said, she could smell the other scent, like the Cherry Lemonade. Did I say Limeade? It's Cherry Lemonade. She can smell that over the like the, the secondary blend, but that's good because you want to smell uh, 
cherry lime lemonade. Well, I keep saying lime and cherry lemonade because otherwise they all smell like Jaws. So honestly, I, I think this is one I put on the top that I really, really, really loved. Now, my only concern with this is, hang on, I just got to move this so I can set my sampler up there, is will she pour these again and when it'll, will it be a reasonable amount of time? Because the cherry lemonade with Jaws, I would repurchase. And I haven't even warmed it and I would repurchase. Another one I loved was Jaws and pineapple slices. I love pineapple scents though in the summertime. This is so dang good. If you like a like a lovely, lovely pineapple slice, or it's almost a little bit like um, very, very sweet pineapple, but almost like a candied pineapple, but I am here for it. So these two so far on cold were the ones I really liked. Um, and then she did all these different shapes which I've never gotten anything where she's done this, but, oh, well, I've gotten samples. So this is Jaws Stress Relief and it's fingers, which is hysterical. Oh my gosh. It makes me a little creeped out to hold that. I, this is okay, but I think this would be good. Let's just say for a headache. So I wouldn't be opposed to this, but I love Jaws. That one's not like my favorite, favorite. Jaws and black raspberry vanilla. I'm not the biggest fan of black ra raspberry vanilla. Yeah, I don't even order that from Scentsy. I just, I had that scent a long time ago when I warmed wax and I think I got burned out on it. So it's just not a favorite. But that was little, oh, these are cute. These are little, is that like a hibiscus flower? That's pretty. But like I said, it's not bad. I'm going to warm it because you can smell jaws in it. So I'm, if you can smell jaws in it, I think it'll be great. Next up is jaws and sandalwood, which I love sandalwood. This is good. I really, this one is good. Little peanuts. Yeah, I, it, interesting combos, but yeah. Uh, Jaws and Twisted Peppermint. These are uh, fish. Oh, this is like an aquatic. It's stars and then um, a clownfish and a turtle. Yeah, mm -mm. I, I don't know. Yeah. That, I just don't love that one either. Jaws and Golden Sands. This one I, is okay. Yeah, this is kind of a, um, this is a, the sense I could see more with Jaws. Like, I just feel like Jaws is already a beautiful aquatic scent. And I think adding more of these than doing like Twisted Peppermint and Stress Relief just seems weird to me. That's just my opinion. And I'm just one person. So watch some other videos and see. Uh, this one I do like, the Golden Sands. It's more like a little bit on the beach. You have your sunscreen and you're on the beach. So I really like that one. Jaws and Pink Chiffon. I like Pink Chiffon sometimes. So let's smell this one. This one's okay too. Not very strong though, this one, which is surprising. Yeah, very light. This one is the lightest one so far, actually. Very light. But I will, like I said, I can't wait to warm all these. I love, love Jaws. Jaws and Blue Sugar. This is a little mustache. <laughs> this, I love Blue Sugar. This is very good. Mm, that one I really like too. The only light one was the Pink Chiffon and Cold. And then Jaws, lastly, Jaws and Sweet Berries. That one is okay too, actually. Okay, so what I will tell you is these are probably my favorites. For me personally, I'll see if Pink Chiffon gets stronger, but it's not very strong on cold. The Jaws and Golden Sands, because it's like you're on the beach with sunscreen. Jaws and Cherry Lemonade, I love that one. And Jaws and Pineapple Slices, because those just seem to go well together, those scent notes. Jaws and Sweet Berries. Jaws and Blue Sugars is different, but I like that one. So that was my small haul, like I said. Um, I am obsessed with Jaws. When I saw her sampler, it wasn't like, it was totally, she had a bunch of samplers and I was like, because I knew I wanted the perfume. Um, so the Jaws sampler, I, like I said, I was just like, okay, I have to try it because I didn't want to order just the perfume. And then when I saw the, um, 
it, she was going to do the sampler. I'm like, well, I'll just order both in because I wanted to make the order worth it, like I said. So I'll just choose to spend my money where I want to spend it. So that's just me being, I'm not trying to be rude, okay? Please don't take it as that. It's just I'm going to spend my money where I feel that the vendors listen. And there's a lot of vendors, so you just don't have to be limited to one. And if there's a scent that you love from a vendor like Draws, of course I'm going to buy it in whatever option I can get if I don't have very much left. But I'm also going to be very picky about what I'm spending my money on. And that's just personally me because I have a very large collection. And um, I don't know how things are going to go with the price of things rising every single day. It really makes me quite depressed. That's why I sit home and, you know, hide from the world. Anyway, if you got this, let me know if you ordered the draw sample or the perfume or cologne. With that being said, I hope you all are doing well. I all right. This is my last haul today. All right, so I have a very, very small haul from Salt Mountain Melts. She did include two Zots. I ate the one. I don't like orange, so my kiddos can have that one. Um, and like I said, this is very small. The main reason I went in was to get more of Backyard Bash, which is strawberry cream cheese frosting, twisted pretzel whipped cream. It's so good. Now... She went to these new tubs. These are smaller than Teddy B's. Um, definitely smaller. I think, I don't know what the price difference is. But they are smaller. Her wax is um, very hard. I don't know the blend, but it is definitely like a harder wax. But I absolutely love this scent. I've had it before. And I was like, when she offered this, it's been a couple years since she had offered it. So I did go in and order. And I she just had a pre-order a couple weeks ago. I did order again because like I said, if she has a scent that she hasn't poured in a couple years, I just order even if it's a small order because I, yeah, I just need to. Otherwise, I won't get it. So this one is new to me. It's Villain Air. It's strawberry, sandalwood, smoke, amber, vanilla, and Palo Santo. And you know, I love sandalwood. I'm going to let you look at her label. How cute are her labels? This is really good. Interesting. Strawberry, sandalwood. I do smell smokiness. Some of the amber... I don't know if I want to pop this out, but very good, very different. So I wanted just to try a souffle. Her wax performs really well for me, so I don't need much. So the souffles honestly are a great size. And the tub, that will last me so many because, like I said, her wax performs very well for me. This one is Cake at the Boardwalk. I had to get this because I really love Boardwalk Marshmallow Cloud, Cloud Blends, and I don't see a lot of those offered. And I really love it. So Boardwalk Marshmallow Cloud White Cake and Cherry. I'm not the biggest cherry fan, but I really like her circus and stuffed circus animal cookies. I think that's the one I ordered a tub in. Um, oh, I love this. Oh my gosh. The Boardwalk Marshmallow Clouds, the cake and the cherry is not, her cherry that, like I said, with her cookie blend she does with the cherry in it. I actually don't mind her cherry. It's not too chapstick. Like medicinal to me this is so good so this one was the first time i ordered this one well and the only like i said the only repurchase was the um backyard bash and because i have so much wax if i didn't have the collection i have this one is definitely a little worthy to me and definitely i would now she doesn't do any rts's so cake at the boardwalk i would repurchase that next time in a little bit bigger size but she doesn't do any RTSs really. I know occasionally she'll say, oh, I have leftovers. And then she'll say, I'm going to do this RTS on this day. And then she'll have some. But I just, just generally don't even try because a lot of times people go in and everything's sold out within like seconds. So I just don't want to try an RTS. So she just did a uh, pre-order and she had the circuit stuffed circus animal cookies. And I did order um, just a tub in that and a couple other things that she had that she hadn't poured in a while. And I think she had like a carnival scent. I don't remember what it was, but anyway, I did order from her and it's a couple months to her own, which I don't care. And I really love her wax and it performs well, but this is just a very small order. And I hope you guys are doing well with that being said, I hope you have a wonderful, beautiful, blessed day.